Hi everyone, welcome to Fast Home Brew. This is a video on how to use your hydrometer. So, what does it do? Well, in a nutshell, the hydrometer measures measures the thickness of whatever it's floating in. This is called the gravity. If it's floating in something really thick, it floats up nice and high and you get a big number. And if you put it in something that's a bit thinner, then it floats down lower and you get a small number. As we all know, during fermentation, the yeast like to get the sugar and change that into carbon dioxide and alcohol and so your mixture gets thinner as it goes along. So if we want to know how much alcohol is in something all we have to do is compare the original thickness or original gravity to the final thickness. The way we do this is by taking the small number from the big number and then multiplying it by 131. I'm not very good at my 131 times tables but that's okay because my dog is trained to fetch my calculator for me. So if my original gravity was 1.046 and now at the end of fermentation it's 1.010, I take those away, I get 0.036 multiplied by 131, 4.716% alcohol. Now I know that when I add a bit more sugar at the end for carbonation it's going to put in another half a percent. So I'm going to wind up with about a 5.2% alcohol thing. And that's all there is to it. There are a couple of traps to be aware of. You can get false readings if the temperature of the stuff you're measuring is extremely high or extremely low, then it could give a false reading either way. Uh, it should be about 20 degrees. The other thing, and this is a common trap for beginners, is that bubbles can stick to the bottom of the hydrometer and actually cause it to float higher than it should, giving you a false high reading. That's okay though, there's a couple of ways to deal with the bubbles. Some people toss the sample between a couple of glasses. Uh, I like to pump it up and down inside the tube and just wait for the bubbles to go away. And then as a final measure, I always make sure that I spin the hydrometer to dislodge any last remaining bubbles that are stuck to it. So that's about it. Thanks for watching the video.